Today's guest is Tamara Calder Richardson. She's the author of the book, Love from Heaven, My Six Near-Death Experiences, and she is an evidential psychic medium and channeler. She was previously on the podcast before, and we spoke about her six near-death experiences. Now she's been so kind to come back and give some free readings to my audience today. So, Tamara, thank you so, so much for coming and doing this for my audience. I really appreciate you. Oh, you're so welcome. I appreciate you, Jeff. I I know that that you have such an inquisitive mind and such interesting guests, and um, I feel that so many people are hurting these days. They're confused. They're lost. I mean, you know, it's unusual times. And then during the holidays, they miss their loved ones. You know, maybe some have crossed over. So this might give some comfort to people. So I'm just happy to be of service. Thank you. So you are an evidential psychic medium and channeler. Can you please tell us what that is and what you will be doing today? <laughs> Yes, I can, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. I always have so much fun with you. And when you interviewed me for my near-death experience, I mean, you really are a pro at this. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, let's talk. I think it might be best again. Um, um, I kind of go by, first of all, I'm Tamara Calder Richardson. I go by the Southern Bell Medium. Now, um, I can tell you that my near-death experience, the after effect is uh, <laughs> talking to spirit people. I've been talking to them since three. Now, I want to kind of define psychic and medium for those listening and do a little bit of education so people's reading can be more meaningful. Psychic just means um, people that are psychic, and there's different levels, just like musicians. There's people that are like Stevie Ray Ron, uh, you know, and then there's um, people that are just starting out. So uh, psychic just means people that perceive this physical plane. So it could be a house, a dog, a job, romance, blah, 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 blah. They perceive that. Mediumship is when they perceive all mediums are psychics, but they also perceive uh, spirit beings, uh, a different dimension on top of just the one that we're in. So now as you go into um, mediumship, some people, you know, they may get a little bit here and there as you go up higher, you know, because I was a spirit person. I was dead six times. I was spirit, which might be a reason that spirit people like me. (laughs) Um, But as you go up higher, you know, also channel like, because I was over there, Jesus. um, It was funny because I I wasn't raised Catholic. I love the Catholics, but, you know, I get Mother Mary. I've gotten all sorts of saints that I never learned about or knew that come through. So, um, I can go to the different, you know, dimensions and so forth. But with mediumship, uh, the people are always around us, our loved ones, but we can't see them. Now, as a child, I would physically see them physically. They look like us. But now I said, please don't let me see them. But I see, hear, feel and know um, I have um, also seen angels. So I've seen that as well. Evidential mediumship is where I give, say, if I'm reading you as the sitter, so the person I'm reading is the sitter. Mediumship is a three-way conversation. So it's you, the medium, and the, your spirit person, or really a spirit persons, because there's always a ton that comes in. But I can only do one at a time, but they always bring a lot of people with them. So that I basically, the evidence is for you, not me. So as I give information, I see, feel, hear, and know. I used to start out being a lot more clairvoyant, seeing things, but now I hear that just as much. They will show me things as a full film strip. I've gotten uh, phrases, memories. They can show different ways to let you know that it's them. They know exactly what they're doing. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to, you know, tell them, oh, give me a buzzword. They know exactly. But with the evidence, evidential mediumship is that the higher form of mediumship because it's um, the proof is for you. So for example, a quick example, I read um, this lady one time and her brother came through and he was, uh, you know, give, he gave some evidence in the beginning. It was him, you know, a bracelet that uh, was a coin and it all it was gold. And it all went to all the members of all the siblings. They all got a necklace out of that coin bracelet. But what was really fascinating, the only way the evidence she would know and he would know, the evidence is not for me, was when he was put in the casket. I said, he's telling me he has something in his pocket. And. I didn't want to say it, but it looked like a mini bottle, but I didn't want to say your brother has a mini bottle in his pocket. That's disrespectful, right? But I kept, I said, okay, it's a little, um, I I don't know how I said it. It's a little glass bottle. I didn't want to say it looked like a mini bottle. And it has a rope on it. It's like a red rope. 
And she started laughing. And they put chili, a little bottle of chili in his pocket because he liked chili with everything. Mm. So they did that. So the evidence was not for me. It was for them. So people know that your loved one's around. Another thing they'll do if I, you know, if they don't know someone like, oh, you know, your great grandfather, you're like, I didn't know him. I'll say, well, I hate to blow him off and say, go, you know, goodbye. But what I'll, I'll just say, you do um, two things I'll say. If you don't know someone, meaning you didn't know them, show me you're around Jeff. Show me something that he's doing now or that's around him that, you know, to show that you're around. And, you know, they'll do that. You know, you're, you know, they'll say some things. That's one way. Or I'll say, uh, what's your message? And then I'll say, who's with you? And then they'll bring in someone closer that you know. So um, usually with the evidential mediumship, you really want, with it, well, with any kind of spirit work, you just want to make sure that you have an open heart, you're not judging, that you're actually just enjoying the experience. I will tell you, it's not easy being a sitter because anything could come up, like a, a past memory from a childhood. I mean, how often do we think of our childhood? So now you're sitting there thinking, I don't know, let me think about it. Uh, and you have to think. I've actually forgotten uh, in a reading that I had, because uh, I've trained eight years in the, in the uh, British style of mediumship. And so uh, with uh, Tony Stockwell from the UK, and I'm certified uh, as an advanced psychic like a medium by Lisa Williams. And I've studied with John Holland and uh, Janet Novahack, who has a spiritualist church among uh, w- with others. But when you're training, you kind of go back and forth. And <laughs> someone said, a uh, Pat, I said, I don't know, Pat. And I was really defiant. I don't know a Pat. And I felt really bad. Later on, I realized it was my uncle that I didn't see very often in Florida. And it was his wife, Patricia, but he called her Pat. Mm. I kept thinking it was a guy. So sometimes it takes a while to think. So if something like that comes up for the sitters tonight, then, you know, I'll just write it down and, or they can write it in, you know, or look at the recording and then think about it later. Cause sometimes these things are pretty powerful. You just don't know. Right. Okay. So that that's kind of, it's, it's amazing. Look, spirit knows what they're doing. We're spirit. We're a multidimensional being, but mm-hmm. we're kind of stuck in these vessels right now. So we don't really know how to navigate. Mm-hmm really well except for when we sleep and mm-hmm. have you ever had a night where you're really restless and you wake up and you're like oh, i'm exhausted i mean what happened last night you ever have one of those nights mm-hmm. where sure you're just exhausted and you don't know why mm-hmm. yeah at, at some point everybody's had that like wow it's just like why am i so exhausted like what was and you don't remember your dreams or usually that's when your guides are taking you through and explaining and teaching you stuff so everybody travels at night when they sleep even if they don't remember Hmm. And because that's our basic form is spirit. Hmm. Now, what you're going to be doing is kind of a shortened version of what you normally do. Is that correct? But you do you do do yes. longer personal versions and you teach classes? Yes, um, I do the longer versions. I do basically most people we would get an hour or 90 minutes as a soul path discovery. And that's where mediumistically I connect, get the evidence so people know it's real. And then I go on up to the higher levels like Jesus and guides and angels and then go over someone's uh, life path. As far as teaching, not only do, you know, I don't believe that this should be just sacred just for other mediums. So what I do is I also teach, I'm teaching a class called Recover Your Joy. And it's a six weeks uh, in, including uh, six weeks and a 90 minute medium demonstration at the end teaching people how to spiritually connect anything that's negative. We actually get into it to remove that and replace it with more positive habits and how to really connect and listen to that inner voice with God and how to sense spirit and how to be on your life path. So it, it's super cheap. It's like 129. So maybe there'll be a link below, but it's super cheap. But I did that because I really feel like people need some focus and they need some confidence these days. And this is what I do. And uh, also before I forget, um, we're going to do a very short version just to show that it does work. <laughs> this does work. And, um, and then afterwards, if someone is interested, if they buy an hour reading, they will get uh, 30 minutes for free. They can use it then if they want the full life path or they, or they can gift it for, you know, a Christmas present. If, but and when they f- fill out on PayPal on my website, southernbellmedium.com mm-hmm. and it's bell B E L E. If they enter Jeff's podcast, mm-hmm. <laughs> that way we know it was you that gave them the gift. It's a $225 value mm-hmm. that, um, they'll get that extra 30 minutes for free. Oh, okay. And that's at Southern bell medium. And I'll let you know. 
Right. And right. when they fill out for an hour, they just need to put Jeff's podcast. It's a little, our little secret. Mm -hmm. Then they will get the 30 minutes for free and they will get, I will send them an email. Actually, my assistant will send them an email and let them know. So that's the key word. All right. Sounds good. If that is, if that, is that, is that good with you to use works, your name? It works for me. That totally works for me. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you ready to get started? Awesome. I am. I love doing this work. All right. So our first guest is Susan. Hey, Susan. How are you? Hi, Tamara. I don't hey. See you. <laughs> nice to meet you there, Susan. Hello. Hey. Well, um, so do you mind if I work with you on this? And let's see, you've got, you know, we all have, like I say, we all have a fan club in heaven. So we got a lot of people around us, but why don't I see if I can connect with one in particular? How's that? Okay. okay. That, will that work? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So as we go through how it works energetically, as, oh, okay. Can you say, hey, hey. <laughs> okay. So as we go forward and, uh, and what will be, it will be like this. Uh, you know, when you pick up the phone, you have to figure out who you're talking to. That's uh -huh. what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to okay. give you, I'm just going to give you things I get. And you tell me like, oh, that's so-and-so. Okay. okay. Tell you energetically how it feels. <laughs> And if you understand something, say yes. If you don't, you can say no. Sometimes people like, oh, I didn't know them or I wasn't close or I'm not sure yet. That's okay. And then what we want to do is connect. We want to quickly find the right person we're talking to so I can give you the message. Okay. So that's, that's, that's the game. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. So already see a woman stepping forward. And it's funny. As soon as I said that, um, now I get it how it feels. And, and I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, usually I, I, I try to, I try not to be, but I get it how it feels kind of like you, you get it when you see a couple, you think, oh, they seem married. Okay. I get it how it feels. So I'm getting here a very strong mother presence. And as soon as I said it, um, I feel this, um, it's it, two mothers. Show up. So would you understand your mother being in spirit? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, would you understand, I don't know if it's your husband or whoever's sitting on the sofa there, would you understand his mother being in spirit? Yes. Okay. So, okay, good. Cause they both came in as soon as he said something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so tell him, tell him, thank you. Um, and so it's funny in life, what I'm getting in life, they would not have necessarily liked one another. And I feel like, um, I'm not sure which one it is yet. Cause I got to separate the energy. I don't know. It's almost one well, was, you're saying. was very, well, don't show me anything. I don't want any, um, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just sit here and focus. So um, the one of them is almost very opinionated and almost in life, she would have come across a little self-righteous and they wouldn't have gotten along in life. Do you understand two different kinds of people? Do you understand? Yes. Yes. OK, you understand that. But they are on the other side in heaven. They are. And they're having a laugh about it. And they both come together for you <laughs> both. Now, they want to talk about. Um, oh gosh, Thank your mother. I wish yeah. I, I wish I could make this up um, because uh, I just I, I just tell them I just tell you what they tell me, and they always come in love. And sometimes they'll come for an apology. Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay, so okay, so first of all, um, is this your? I'm sorry to do this. I can't help it. Is that your husband sitting over there, Zach? Is that what you said? Yes, yeah, yeah, Zach. And, um, his mama <laughs> wants to talk to him. I'm sorry, your mama, Jeff. Jeff you can't make this up. <laughs> Um, Can I let him sit in this seat? Uh, sure. And it's, okay. okay. And all right. So uh, we didn't plan this at all. That's okay. How you hey, doing? Zach. Hey, sweetie. I'm Tamara. I'm sorry. We didn't doing, plan this. Hey, I got two mamas uh, coming through. And like I said, in life, they might not have really, you know, hit it no, off. They uh, and, um, but they're just fine and they're looking after both of you. So your mother is very, uh, oh my God, she's, uh, a character, your mother, this coming through. Now let me make sure that I have the right person, but this feels like your mother because she wants to tell you what to do. And I feel like, um, she feels now, uh, as though you might've remembered her as she got older, maybe uh more frail but it never affected her spirit she's very high spirited and she's <laughs> she's very colorful okay very very mm -hmm. colorful and uh she'll tell you she's not afraid of the devil she'll tell she she's very i mean she's a very strong woman and she comes to you 
Oh, and she said, you are the father figure to your grandkids. <laughs> Look, I don't know what she's saying yet. You understand it. I don't. Uh, and she said, you're the father figure. And she wants you to make sure you live here a long time. Cause, and, and I want to say boys, do you understand boys? You're a, you're like a father to some boys. Yeah, Cody. Uh, Cody. I am a father to my son and my nephews, I guess. Okay. You, she said, yeah. She said, yeah. And she's screaming at me like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But she's on that face. And she said, she wants you to be, she said, you don't, you don't always, she said, you're a sweet, you're, you're, oh my gosh, this is your mom. She said, you, you're always a sweet boy, said, you're a sweet man. She said, but you need to take better care of yourself because I want you there for all those boys. They really need you because you have a good head on your shoulders and all this craziness that's going on that you set people straight. Just like I would if I was if I wasn't there. And she talks through you a lot to say, go, you need to go talk to them or you need to do this and that. And there's some kind of fuss over the boys schooling. I don't know if they're doing it online or something, but there's been some discussion over their like, no, we're gonna do it this way, no, we're gonna do it this way. And she's talking about that. Do you understand this? Um, I don't really have anybody that's doing any schooling. Okay, the kid, the kids, the young uh the, the uh, they're, not that <laughs> they're not uh, that young. They're not that young. 14? How old? The no. younger one. Nephew, wh what's the one that's this 12, 14? Your grandsons are. Oh, I've got two grandsons that are identical twins that are. Okay. How old? They're 15, 14, 15. Okay, that's it. So, see, I you're the know. you're like the daddy. Okay. All right. Now he's at musical chairs. So he's like the daddy. <laughs> He's kind of like the dad. He's like the dad. Like okay, good. Th thanks so much. So he's like the granddaddy, the daddy for the, the family. See, your your mother is it Zach? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So your mom was the matriarch when she was alive. She put everybody straight, and so she's putting you straight right now. She wants you to kind of the best you can. She said, kind of take up her torch and be that way for the family, especially for the men folk because. They really need that. And she wants to tell you she loves you. She appreciates it. And she said that you you ought to be nicer to yourself because you're a good person. You're a good man. And she said, I raised a good man. And she says, I love you. And she said, if you don't listen, she says, I'm going to she says, I'm going to take a switch to you. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> She's kidding. Well, Zach's mother came to me in a dream one night and it was a believe it was a visitation with all my heart yeah, I because do um, his son Cody died when he was uh, 24 somebody had put fentanyl in something oh dear and Lord, I'm she, sorry. she was all in black she didn't have black veil his mom and I believe she oh, came to, to pick Cody yeah, up to to yeah. tra help him transition ask her oh, if that's, she that's well let's see don't tell me too much okay um, <sighs> I don't know. Look, I'll, I'll, what is the, the thing? Oh, God, this is awkward. Oh, we're live. Um, what is the, I don't know who this is. She's showing me someone smoking. I don't know if it's meth. I don't know if it's pot. I don't know what it is, but she didn't like it. Do you, you don't have to tell me who, but just let me know if you understand that. You don't, we yes. don't have to get personal. Yeah. You yeah. understand yeah. that. Yeah. So you don't want to say the name because we don't want to do that. Okay. okay. He wants you to, to that's not okay, she says. Um, she really still looking out for her family. Um, she also, who is the one? This may be who you're talking about, the son who really liked birds and nature. Really like birds and nature, and would just look at them and look at them. The son, or is that, or is that Zach? Does he like that? You like birds? Cardinals. Like Cardinals. <laughs> well, any, no, but she's saying she's talking about someone who likes birds. It might be you, and you like to stare at the birds, and you like. To, oh, I do. Yeah. Or is that who is it? You? Okay. Me. <laughs> um, she's watching you. Um, she wants to thank you for um uh, being a good wife to her son. She said she wouldn't have given you credit for that when she was living. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but she said that you do feed him. And she said, I know you really love him and I see your heart. And, um, and she said, that's all I care about. She said, you oh, truly well. love him and I thank you. <laughs> tell, so, her, tell her I, I, I love and miss her. 
Well, she's still around you quite a bit. Now, she's got your mom here. Um, do we have time, Jeff, to do her mama real quick? I didn't expect a whole family clan. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, um, let's see here. Uh, why is she singing this song to me? Remember that Tony Orlando and Don? Oh, my God, this is a long way back. Tie a yellow a ribbon around the old oak tree. Gosh, why are they making me? <laughs> bum, 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 bum. So I, when I'm getting the old oak tree, so I'm getting, I don't know if there's a yellow ribbon or I want to support the troops. Good. And I don't know who's in the military, but I want to support the troops. So who is she referring to on your side of the family? Support the troops. Who is it? Uh, is there support the troops yellow ribbon? And that would be. I don't know who that would be. Um, go ahead. Hold on. Let me ask her. Let me ask her. Because there's someone in the military. Let me let me see. My dad was in the military. Who's junior? Who's junior? Was your dad a junior? Was no. Dad, was he? Um. Junior. Okay, let me explain that. So usually junior is, if my name is Bob, then we have Bob Jr. Right. But I or don't. we have, it could be, um, oh, it's a name oh, that's oh. used. It's a name that's used again. It's the same uh, name. Bill, uh, my ex-husband was in the military. Okay. He's a junior. He's okay, a junior. And he, okay, good. And is he on the other side? Huh? Is right. your husband no, crossed over? No, okay. no, no. Okay, so then she, I don't know why she wants to talk to him. So, um, so he's not a. So he's a. So Bill was in the military. Um. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love how they're all in your business. Uh, your mom <laughs> wants to mention this because you were you were married to this man for a while. So she, you know, they yeah. when you're divorced, they still they, it's all family over there. Um, yeah. Do, I don't know if you've talked to him, but she's saying he's not well. Do you oh, understand really? that he's not well? Yeah, I don't know. Like he's been ill. He's been he's he's not doing he's not doing well. And I don't know if I feel like it's with his chest. Um and um yeah. she's she's uh she's just wanting to let you know. I don't know if she wants you to reach out and just send a card or think it, you oh, know, just a real platonic oh, type thing. Okay. She just wants to let you know. <laughs> um she says, uh she says to me about you, she says that she loves you and she wants to thank you for taking care of her. Toward the end, so you were her key uh, caregiver. Yeah, well, I try. Uh, yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, you tried. <laughs> uh, she said that she she was uh, she's she is acknowledging she was a little um, hard headed. Um, she's explaining she didn't understand some kind of procedure that had to be done, and she wasn't fully understanding what they were saying. And I feel like there was some confusion. So I don't know if she had dementia because I feel there was some confusion there. She didn't fully understand. So she kind of trusted you just to do things to help her. Yeah. It, she it, had was congested. She, no, she had congestive heart failure. She had a full mind, but she had congestive heart failure. And, huh? little bit mixed up now. she was a little mixed up i guess yeah but yeah she didn't really understand at the end a certain kind of procedure this or that but she just relied yeah. on you for that she, she was a little mixed up i don't know why but she was a little confused but um uh, she this is what she's saying there was something about um the surgery i don't know if she didn't quite make it through the surgery or she may she got out but she didn't last too long but she wants you to know that she was at peace before any of this and she kind of knew it was sort of her time she says sweetheart we all have to go somehow she said she was at peace with that she said that she oh she, maybe it's my sister linda okay well we'll she's she younger said, than me okay um well she's talking about it could be a blending of both she's talking about let's go back being um taking care of her uh, not always listening uh, about the surgery. So what is the surgery? Could be both of them. Oh, standing. she had to have a surgery. Look, my sister had to have a surgery called TIPS. She had hepatitis C and her stomach okay. was distended. Okay, and well, don't say too much. Okay. Okay. So, so she, uh, so she's saying that she had to have a surgery. Um, she didn't really understand it. So maybe your sister's coming in. I just want to verify and double oh, check, yeah. you know, far as integrity is to make sure your mom is totally here, but she might have popped in beside of her. Um, and so, um, <clears throat> why does she say who's L Linda Ann? Who's that? Linda Ann, Lee, my Linda, Linda Lee. Who's Ann? Who's got Ann? Mariana. Okay. Who's Zach's that? mother. 
Oh, okay. She's still here. Oh, great. She's very, <laughs> she's very dominant. She's very dominant. Very yeah. dominant. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so your sister had the surgery. What is it, the confusion about the confusion about having the surgery? What do you, was that would be your sister or your mom? So we can get the message on that. I think I, it, you're, I think you're talking about my sister, Linda. Okay. Okay. So what is the, did she have confusion before the surgery? Did someone have to explain it? She was yeah. a little confused about it. Yeah, she was, she had a procedure called a TIPS and yeah. right after they did it, she only lived like a couple of days. That's it. After. That's it. So please know your mom yeah. is bringing her into you and uh, she's bringing her to you. Now they're together, of course, you, and you, you oh. should know that they're together yeah. and she's with a lot of people and uh, there's a lot of love for you. Tremendous amount of love. Um, your sister is saying to you that she wants you to live the fullest life and she doesn't want you to hold back. <laughs> and sometimes you hold back um, in life a little bit and yeah. that you're, very, you're too humble. She says you're too humble <laughs> and uh, that you don't want to, you know, you don't want to take any credit. You're like, no, no, you. And, uh, and she said that she just, um, she just has so much love and admiration for you and that she wants <laughs> you to know you're a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. And she's with you a lot. She loves you a lot. And she likes to give you coins and pennies. And I feel like you find them <laughs> your feet. And I almost feel like you find them strangely and I mean different places, but for some reason I feel like even under the bed. Have did you vacuum and find pennies or something or coins under yeah. the bed? Yeah. yeah. It's her. I don't know why they do that. I don't know why. So for me, they like to give a lot of feathers, but um, that, that it's usually very subtle. Just know that you're loved by both of them and your and Zach's mom is very domineering still. She's still trying to tell everybody in heaven how to do everything. So, <laughs> so look, thank you all so much. It's just a little she sample. She always told Zach what to do. Zach took well, care of her for like 10 or 12 years when she was in a wheelchair and she always God told bless him, him. he did everything for her. Everything. Well, well, she dearly loves him and she thinks she's <laughs> just, she just really just thinks he's just wonderful, but she's still trying to tell him what to do. God bless her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a blessed evening. Thank, thank you, you so much, Tim. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Susan and Zach. Well, thank, thank you, you, Susan. Bye. 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 Bye, Jeff. <laughs> it looks like Ben here is here. So let's go with Ben next. Awesome. Perfect. There he is. Hello. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Ben. Hey, hey, Ben. Hi. Nice to connect with both of you. And thanks for doing this. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Give a little holiday cheer. Yeah. So, nice. Thank well, you. thanks for thanks for allowing to do this. So uh, you want to get started? Yeah, I'm ready when you are. Okay. All right. So let's let me see what I get here. P I apologize not looking at you. I'm looking at them. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So uh, I've got a lot of men gathered here for you. Uh, you know, I tell you, they come in in groups. Mm -hmm. Um, interesting because they're talking and I've got to make sure I ask the, you know, one to step four, because I'm getting here. They're already talking about you. They're very excited. Uh, and they're talking about, um, educate, being educated and also being uh, interested in athletics, uh, as well and, uh, uh, athletic activity. So, uh, let me see here. <sighs> okay. All right. Wow. Lots going on. These are very uh, strong males, love to talk. <laughs> um, definitely some of them must have been in sales. Um, I'm feeling here that there is, um, and it's weird because I'm kind of getting that you're also getting like, you know, if you're married, you're getting the other side of the family as well with men too. So you get a lot of men here. I mean, this is a man's club tonight. Okay. okay. I mean, right. and when you hang out and do dude stuff, they're with you. So I'm going to give you evidence of that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm getting here, first of all, there is a, a man, and I think he goes way back. It feels like it's on your dad's side. Um, <laughs> could be your mom's, but I think it is your dad's. But he goes way back like he's not in this country. Like, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say like I'm from Scotland or something, but he goes way back because he's wearing plaid, but like a dapper uh, jacket. And I'm feeling it um, educated though. Uh, and let me see if I can get a name. Hmm. 
um, kind of weird name. I'm not saying your relatives are weird. Names. I mean, it's no, not I like, understand. It's not like, and let me know if it helps if you need input from me to help your process. I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll definitely tell you. I just don't want to be fed anything. I'd, li- I'd like it to be organic because I won't spare Fair it enough. Show for you. Sure. Um, but I think, I mean, it's sort of an aim. I don't want to get it wrong, but I don't want to say like it's unusual. It's like Randolph or Rudy or Rand. Is it a, or I don't know if it's Randy or Randolph or it's some unusual name. I, I don't know. Does this, and I don't, it feels like a, a great grandfather. Um, this my is my mom's, so my mother's 91. Uh, so I never knew my grandfather, but they're okay. from Germany. So I don't know okay. if hurt you, that helped or hindered, but um, it, you know, I don't even remember his name. Okay. So, well, some of this never you may have him. to find out. And, and it just sounds like an unnamed, like, like um, it, it's just a big name, um, like big old Tommy name. Uh, okay. I, I don't want to say I say Randolph, that's kind of an odd name, but it's a big name, but he's showing me wearing this jacket. Now I feel like, even though like my family, for example, they're telling it for me to tell you this came from like Germany, but they were Swedish. You know, you can be Swedish germs. So, okay. They're saying they're Scottish germs. They're still, still, still stuck on that. So when usually I get this, it's usually because they want you to do your DNA. I'm not kidding. Cause they want you to know who they are. Have you done this yet? I've never done DNA. No. Okay. They want you to know who they are. And because they, and, and I'm going to, I'm going to give you someone that you do know, but I, 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 I don't edit what I get. So I'll tell you this because you come from a very strong line of, they're saying intellect. And he said, but, this is funny, but you're very, this is what he's telling me that you come from a line of, it sounds like uh, warriors. You're very athletically fit. These group of men, um, they're, they're fit. And you, he wants you to know because he said we're winners. <laughs> he wants you to know what you come from. So he said that. So that's something a project you can work on. Now there is a man that's with him, and I feel like that <clears throat> he seems educated and he seems very um, well put together. I want to say that um, he presents himself as though uh, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the I don't know if it's what, what year is it. I don't know if it's 69 or 79, but he presents himself in a really dapper looking suit. And he's in, he looks very nice. He cleans up very nice. And he likes when he looks like this and he said, I didn't look so much like this, the older that I got, but he um, um, really did take a lot of, of pride in how he looks. Now, this man does feel like a father. Would your father be in spirit, Ben? Oh, uh, no, my father's still alive. Okay. So I don't know who this man is yet. Okay. So it still feels like a father figure. Could it be a father in law? It feels like a father still. Okay. Would it be a father in law? Oh, sorry. I don't have a father. No, he's still alive too. Okay. Okay. Let me see what this guy I, is. I lost my uh, father's, my grandfather on my father's side. I never knew my mother's father because he was dead before I was born. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So let me see who it is. Let's figure this out. Um, Okay, because nowadays some people have like lots of dads or lots of moms. So <laughs> you, you can, it's just a strange families these days. Um, okay, so okay, so this man feels educated because I want to say um, I want to say I'm proud that I, I, I went to a university. Like I had training. It was like rare, more rare um, uh, back at the time. And I want to ask him. Let me see what he's what he's. Um, he said he was. <laughs> What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? He said, I don't know. I don't know math or science, but he says, I put components of things together. And I want to say, I don't know if he's an engineer, but I'm going to say he's also got a sophisticated side. Like I want to say he's almost like an executive. Uh, Let me ask him in his passing. He said there was an issue with the prostrate. First of all, do you know who I'm talking about? Because before I get a message. Okay. So there's a man, he's got an issue with the prostrate. He was educated. I feel like he has dark hair when he was younger. Um, and what is he talking about with the the A name? I don't know if it's Adam, but the A name. Uh, my son's Adrian. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he's with you. We just got to figure out who this guy is. Yeah. Um, okay. So he's, you know what? I heard grandson. Do you, do you understand any of this being a grandfather at all? Don't take it if you can't, well, but let's figure this out. Like I said, my mom moved from Germany after World War II. Um in her thirties. I never knew him. I think you told me his name a long time ago, but 
she didn't like to talk about her earlier time and um, uh, I just, I didn't know anything about him. So I won't be able to validate anything on my mother's side just because I don't, I'm going to definitely look, I'm writing everything you're saying. Okay. I'm okay. Into it, Absolutely. But. Okay, good. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it's like, you know, spirits raise you. Def- what does this mean? Okay. I'm getting an S connection. I don't know if this is a last name. Okay. Do you, an S connection. I don't want, I don't know if it's Sherman. Sure. Sh- well, Schuch, the- which is Schumacher was the, is the German shoemaker, but they were more Danish and it was Schuchnitz, but that was her last name. My mother That was the last name. Okay, good. Last name. Mm-hmm. This is your granddad. I really feel strongly. Oh, yeah? It's your granddad. I really okay. feel strongly. And what I feel here, let me, let me tell you what I get since you're not sure, but he's telling me this for a reason. I do want to give you your message. Um, I'm getting that he was um, very determined and I feel like that he pulled himself out of, he said, lower, lower beginnings. Uh, I don't know if it's poverty, but it it just, it was not a good situation. He pulled himself out of that and he's really proud of it. And he's very strong. And he, he was known for, I don't know if you've seen pictures, but he was known, or at least he's telling me this, that he was a, um, uh, carried himself very well. Okay, he carried himself very well and made a good impression upon people. I guess this is what he's saying. He was nice looking. I love how they do that from heaven. <laughs> I used to look good. I love how they do that. <laughs> um, but he he worked hard at being a proper gentleman because he didn't really come from that. So he worked hard at learning what does it take to be a proper gentleman and to make money. Um, there feels like there needs to be an apology in it. Now, I don't. I feel like he said I had... <sighs> issues. I don't know if they're addictions, issues. And I feel as though I want to drink. I feel as though I like the women. I feel like I got a little problem with that. Mm -hmm. I feel like that I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that caused a family problem. You you know, Mm -hmm. maybe your wife would know, but there were some issues with the family. There was some upset around that. Okay. (laughs) So this feels like to me an apology. I didn't know better. Um, it feels as though that he, what I'm getting from him, he was a nobody and then he became somebody and he just kind of went to his head a little bit. So mm-hmm. he says to you, you've got, um, what is he speaking of? Two boys. You've got a boy. Who else has a boy? You have a brother with a boy. Who's got a boy? Who else has yeah, a boy? I have a brother with a boy. I have a boy yeah. and a girl. Um, he had five boys, five girls. Yeah. Most of my uncles died in the war. Mm-hmm. They were German. They, um, on the Nazi side. So he had five boys. Right. He's saying, he's talking about the two boys. He's talking about the two boys and, and teaching them to be, to be men. And then he's talking, uh, we'll figure out what that means. And sure, then, sure. Yeah, yeah. and then, and then he's talking about one has a learning disability. Is that your brother's son? He's got, he's, a, he's, a, I wouldn't say he's slow, but he, I don't know if he's dyslexic. <laughs> My older brother is, is, uh, he's really smart Aspergery. Um, okay. It's your not, brother. Uh, oh, got it. Well, my older okay. brother. Yeah. Uh, okay. Got it. But he's not. Okay, so um, yeah. you're, okay. Your older brother. Now, does he have a son? Is this the same one we're talking no. about? No. Nope. He's okay. All- so, okay. So he's talking about, he's talking about him. Okay. He's talking about that. Okay. Okay. He said, you're impatient with him. Is what he said. He said, sometimes him? you get impatient with him. I'm here. very yeah. patient with him. I've never known him. So I'm very patient. Okay. Okay. He said, sometimes you get impatient. He said, uh, he said, he's very, he says, he's, he's in a, and he just wants you to know he, he sees that situation. That's all. Um, he wants to talk about you. He said that you uh, made a better father and husband than he did. And that he said that he, 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 he did everything right up to a certain point and it fell apart. He said, but you've done everything right. And you're very, um, uh, very respectable and you take family more seriously than he did. And he wants to thank you for taking care of now. Would this be his granddaughter? Is this his granddaughter or is her, or is her grandfather showing up too? Oh God, because he's talking about the wife. Thank you for taking care of the wife. So this is your grandson, grand, your grandfather. Her grandfather is now showing up too. Uh, totally different personality. Totally different. Um, totally different. So what he's. So let me finish off with this. Uh, with him. 
Okay. So I love how they tell on you. He said that you've been pondering in your mind, you know, we can't help what we think. Sometimes we think crazy stuff, but you know, you're pondering in your mind lately. It's maybe almost like reminiscing, like, like how, like where you've come, where you are, where you're going, what you came from. And he's wanting you to, to um, connect to the past. And he said, connecting to who all of you, to all of who you are, you're a sum total of everyone before you. And what he's saying is that it shouldn't be fearful. We all make mistakes. And he said, but um, there are surprises in your lineage is what I'm getting. I think you're like, I think what I'm getting, if you trace it back, what he's saying, and he said, yeah, that's right. I, you're badasses, like you're warriors, like if you trace it back. And I think you would get a kick out of that. Hmm. I think, you, you know, I, just, I can't I, prove it right now. I cannot prove that, but that's yeah. what I'm getting. And I think you would think that is freaking cool. Like, I don't know if you were Holly. I mean, you go way back, but you're like, the, I, I, yeah, yeah, like warriors. You I always warriors. wonder about lineage in terms of DNA or your soul having different experiences. So I don't know whether it's. I had one other uh, reading before where they mentioned a, a Maori warrior in a past life, but then I get confused thinking about DNA and lineage. Does it always follow um, the genetic, your soul? Does it follow the genetic? It, generally, it doesn't, but I will say this. So we have a genetic entity, which is our body, right? And right. we go and incarnate. But when we incarnate next time, it could be totally, I mean, we could be, you know, Japanese, Russian. We could be an old right. woman. old. It could be anybody, right? Mm -hmm. It's whatever your soul needs to learn from that particular uh, lifetime. However, for some bizarre reason, we come back, you've heard, like in uh, family and tribe. So when we incarnate for so many times, <laughs> we just said, okay, you're going to be my dad and you're going to be so-and-so. We're going to get married. We're going to have, you know, and then there's certain things that aren't planned. They're like bonus points. But these people that you have known generally play this game with you. Mm -hmm. So you've known them for a while. So if you trace back, you'll feel a soul connection. It's not. Oh, to the I body. see what you're saying. Even though the body oh. follows the DNA lineage, the yes, have soul families that follow soul families aspects and be put into different times and different. Yeah, areas. and you agree to it. You agree to this deal, God. and you agree. And so there's going to be a kind of a soul connection when you go back. There's something that that your soul already knows, but it has to do with you being a, like a declarated warrior. And I, I keep wanting to almost see that scene and that Mel Gibson movie, like Braveheart, when he goes freedom, you know, like that, <laughs> like a real badass, you know, that's what I'm seeing. Um, mm -hmm. And why is that important? Because he wants you to know that, um, that you come from a long line of people that are determined and that you're a leader and he doesn't want you to lose sight of that. And he doesn't want you to start creating yourself. And, uh, you know, sometimes we we get older and we go, well, I guess that's it. And he's like, no, you're an eternal spiritual being. You got, you just, you take this on out. Look, I'm going to take this all the way out. I'm going to be like 80 something, have a banana on stage and just eating it. I'm just going to take it all the way out to the body falls apart and go, yeah, I used it up. <laughs> he's saying, keep going, keep going. Uh he said that it does help center you sometimes when you work with your hands. He said that you seem to meditate when you are fixing something because you tell everybody. I'm a, I'm a moving meditator for sure. Yeah. He said, he said, yeah, he said, when you, yeah, yeah, when, no, absolutely. When you work with your hands, I'm fixing this because that's a way of telling people, leave me alone because I'm mm -hmm. fixing things. But when you're moving stuff, you meditate, you kind of zone out. He said, that's your happy place. Mm -hmm. And you need to continue to do that. Uh, and he's with you when you do that and when you meditate. Uh, and I say that I almost want to see some men with kilts around you. So you can't, I can't prove this to you now, but hopefully this is uh, a little teaser they leave with you. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Which I think it'd be cool if you're a dude and you found out your family or it was like a whole lineage of badasses. I think just because what a great story, right? <laughs> but yeah. um, tell, there's also... Um, don't be fearful to look in the past. We all make mistakes, right? And we learn from them. And when you cross over, people see what they've done, what they've done to other people. They see it from the perspective of the other person. So no, everybody, no one escapes a life review. Okay. I don't care how crappy they were in life, then no one escapes that life review. And basically they're looking at the life review before a divine love presence. So 
they feel like crap, you know, really, I don't believe God judges. I believe we look at it and go, oh man, sorry, I feel really bad. Like, ooh. So I think it's our own shame, like, ooh, okay, could have done that better. So um, he doesn't want you to, to um, whatever you've been told, I feel like you've been told, don't look there, don't look there. There's some, you know, things that aren't pleasant. He said, he's saying that um, there, it's more wondrous to look than, um, than whatever little pockets of things that are unpleasant. Okay. Look at the achievements. He said, look okay. at one's life. And he's talking about, he's even talking about you. Look at everyone's progress. We all have pockets of disappointment, but you look at the overall person we've become, we've achieved. He says, keep achieving. Okay. Great. That's cool. And I will tell you this. There are some people in your family you're going to find out. And I think you're going to find out. I don't know who it is. There's someone that's living that's really old. You're going to, there's some photographs and, and you, there's someone old that's living. And I don't know who it is. It's, I don't know. Great. Whatever. I don't know. There's someone that's old. I'm, I got a lot a of man. older aunts in their nineties. Okay. You're going to go there. There's going to be a picture in a box. They're going to pull it out. You may have to help them, but there's someone on skis because I see snow and I see an expert skier on this slopes. And this is this man. And he wants you to know that because this is love from the other side. He wants to prove that there is an afterlife because you're on this spiritual quest. Some of this is homework for you, but you know, that's kind of mm -hmm. cool. Cause then I find out, you know, two months, a year later, people tell me, I usually forget what I said. They have to refresh my memory. So this is sure. homework for you. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote everything down. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck on the search. And hopefully that did any of this make sense Did it, did it, I mean, I don't want you to take it, but I, it's a little esoteric, but I think you are, I think you're a complicated person and that's how you like it. Are you complicated? You're, you're, you're intense. I don't know how to answer that. Um, I feel uh, simple, but at the same time, like any human, we have, you know, complicated thoughts. And um, I do, Tamara, I did have a couple questions for yeah. you. Um, Is that okay, Jeff? A sure. couple questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, sure. And just a couple. Um, my main uh, want was to see if you find some of my guides or anyone around me and you've actually you jumped right into that with my grandfather I have to look into this another one was a health journey I'm currently on and I just wanted to know if you think it was going to be getting better or worse and and I know um you know a lot of times our health journeys are there for our souls to open up for we don't know right. the experience we're supposed to have with it but I'm kind of just curious uh, where that's gonna go is because eventually I'd like to become a healer in my own right um, but I have to heal myself first. And I just didn't know what the, the future was looking like for that. Um, I, I still have him here and he's with, he's with, I mean, you have other people. I mean, we could definitely do a live path reading. And if you do the hour, then the 30 minutes is free because it's, it's a little bit more deeper, but I will tell you this. I do see far as the health in, I see something having to do with smoothies and doing this, and I see a lot of green. I don't know if there's a lot of green in the smoothies, a lot of green stuff. I don't know if you're doing that yet, but I feel like you're doing, I don't know, if an alkaline cleanse or something with the green smoothies, and that you're wanting to shift your alkaline, your pH, and this is going to be pivotal. And it's and, and I'm, I'm, I'm hearing re, it's a reset. It's like you're hitting the reset button and to recalibrate. That's all. You're hitting the reset, but it has to be a total well, you know, we're spiritual beings, our body, our, our, our happiness, our, our, our journey is reflected in our body. So uh, the reset also is spiritually. They're saying what I'm getting, this is your grandfather here. You've got some more. I can't really identify everybody. However, what I'm getting for you is there are people, not many, but there's a couple people are, are around that maybe have seen you as, you know, as they know you as that Ben, right? But you know, we're, multi, we're, we're, we're many things, right? We're many facets. So you have to allow and give yourself permission to be the Ben you don't know yet, meaning an evolution of, of, of your higher self, the one you speak of as a healer. People, as they say, um, that when you're on a journey, that when you're ready, that the teacher will show up. And so this will be true. It feels... Okay. It feels as though it has something to do with connecting to the earth. And I feel like almost like a, 
this is what it feels like to me, like a shamanic experience where you almost, I don't know if you trip out on some, I'm not promoting it. Okay. But it almost like you're doing an herbal, like a sweat lot and you're like tripping a little bit, but you have like a spiritually transformative experience and you're like, yeah, oh my gosh. I've had many. (laughs) <laughs> okay, so you're going to do some of this. This is going to be like whatever, the Mac Daddy, okay? And you're going to be like, holy crap. So I don't know if it's in the, the sweat lodge, but you're like literally just OBE, leave your body, out of body. I mean, way, like it's big. So you're asking for it. The universe is listening. You're going to get it. You're going to get a reset in every area, except for your family as you're grounding. They're not going anywhere. But you, uh, but you are ready to fly high. They have been waiting for you a long time. You have a history of this on the track. You are a natural healer, and that's why they showed that you're also a warrior. Very athletic. You're very into health. But you, you know, been busy with other things, cerebral with your mind. You need to go back in that way. Uh, so there's you used to be a Boy Scout. Yeah, I actually did. I was almost a yeah. Scout. Got to life. Yeah. Well, they're saying you need to go back and be that boy scout again. You know how you really got into nature, really got into stuff. He said, get it. That's where you need to, that's where your answers are. They're in nature and it's some shamanic thing. It'll connect. You'll realize what it is, but it's just a stepping stone to get you where you are and you will create your own, your own tribe, but you're exactly where you need to be. Okay. Well, thank you, Tamara. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. Yep. And thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Thank you, Ben. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah, okay, night. good night. Mm-hmm. Sheena, hey, can you hear- is it Sheena? Hi, I can hear you. All right, great. Oh. At least we can hear you. I think your camera's a little slow, but as long as I think it, we it hear It probably the- is. I apologize. That's all right. Will that be okay for you? All right. How Tell are me? you this evening? Yeah, I yeah, can hear you guys. I- I'm good. Great. Yeah, Thank you. How I- are you? Good. I can hear you good. Good. So um, before we start, maybe I should ask, did you have any specific questions? Because even, you know, I am a psychic and a medium, but I do feel like you come with questions. I do have a question about um, the previous gentleman asked about spirit guides. I was wondering if you feel that I have a guide or a couple. Um, I've been trying to communicate with them, just having a luck. Okay. And I was just wondering if I have any guides. We're supposed to all have guides? Yeah, we all have guides and we all have more than one, uh, usually at least one, but usually more than that guardian angel. And we definitely all have guides. God does not put us here. You know, look, it's it's not really, I mean, it's sort of our decision. We agree to it, but we, when we're here, we have, we have, we, it's a system. We have people that are, um, that we knew in life that are now guides that we knew at some point in a life okay and in the past in a life that are his guides usually kind of like i don't know if you heard ben's but like his grandfather they're usually considered helpers i mean not to have labels but they're like they're helpers they're they're integral because they're connected to us but really like when we crossed over our guide could possibly be like um you know someone that you wouldn't even talk to here a different nationality or someone that doesn't seem familiar to you uh, but we've had many lifetimes with them um do, let's see huh. so i can tell you this. this is a little bit more esoteric of course i channel so i'll go up higher uh but again you ask so you can handle it <laughs> um so what is this fascination with asian art or anime do you understand this my daughter. Okay. My daughter. Okay. okay. So she, what, what, okay. So, um, cause I'm asking right now, what is the Asian art in the anime? Is that her fascination? I don't know if I would call it fascination, but she, she does watch a few shows. I okay. don't know. Okay. So let me tell you what I'm getting with that. So, cause I got that immediately, you know, that's something unusual. I've never even seen anime. Okay. I know what it is though. So, really. okay. So this definitely is a connection to her. And you were asking about, you were asking about soul connection. She's definitely uh, someone that you've had multiple lives with. She comes to me as though she was a mother. It's <laughs> like a mother figure. Is she bossy? Is she a little bossy? <laughs> 
Uh, bossy? Mm. No, not really. Well, I don't know. She's a teenager. Well, I don't mean mean. I don't mean mean, but she really <laughs> knows what she wants and she asks questions. She's really assertive. I feel like she absolutely comes- camera. Okay, so she comes to almost like she forgets she used to be your mother in another life. And so you've had many lifetimes together. You pulled her in. Um, she uh, is a going to, she's a, <laughs> going to, she already is. Um, she is a um, very strong personality because you've had difficulty. What I see now, we're doing some psychic stuff. Let me show you the difference. You saw the medium, especially like the first one with Zach and Susan. <laughs> Okay, so here's the psychic, and then I'm also channeling. What I'm getting here, uh, you've had some difficulty, especially in the area of men, romance. We're not going to get personal, okay? Some of them was, uh, we'll say, not really positive, okay? And 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 it kind of messed with your head. So this keeps occurring, and you don't understand because you're adorable. Look at you but you don't understand. So she's come in and she's the sever line. She's cutting that off. I mean, she is, she has such a prominent personality that she's like, I know she may not seem it now, but she's your protector. She is your overseer. Now, energetically she's protective when I'm in bad relationships. Yes. But she's do you energetically, I know she's a child and it's hard to wrap it, but just energetically, does that make sense to you? Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and it's, Very much. she's she's here to calm your soul. Now, she's also, what's the deal? She's wanting a cat. What's the deal? She's wanting an animal. She's wanting a cat right now. She's always wanting an animal. Okay. I, I, so, <laughs> we, okay we have so, to do as it is. Okay. So you've got, uh, I don't know if it's a grandmother or great grandmother, but she comes to me. It feels like as you're, you're on your mo- on your mother's side and she comes to me and she said, would you just give her the cat? And, and I don't know if there's free cats are giving away somewhere, something, just give her the cat. She said, would you just give her the cat? Um, she's very, um, she's an artist, you know, she's tactile and she's just got to touch stuff. Right. So she's got to, it, it will help with her development. She's got to, and responsibility, of course, too, but she's got to touch this thing. But she's an artist. Does she, have you seen uh, signs of um, creativity? She's, she's very creative. Absolutely. She, yeah. She's an artist. Actually, you are too. And at some point, you will be doing art together, not really for a living, but just for cr- the creation purpose because this is self expression. Uh, and, and I feel as though I want to get finger paints and paint. If you could do that with her over Christmas, it would give her a lot of joy because she's very into touch, very into touch. She's, a matter of fact, she's very uh, intuitive and sensitive. And she would be one that would be more, that would get spirit more by touch or how they would feel. And here, that's just her thing. And the next one would be sight, but she's um, very hands-on. Matter of fact, does she like, she touches on people. You know, have you noticed well, her hand? She's very, she loves their fingertips. I think she's just so happy to be back and she just loves this body. Well, see, she, she's 16 now, but when she was a child, she was very much like that. Well, I'm you might just not like that at 16 her. now. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that might send the wrong signal. So that's good. Exactly. Okay, good. Exactly. But I see her as a very pure, innocent soul. There's a very, um, she's um, ascended. And your, her path and your path is very similar. It's a very much so like if you had two circles, they would cross over one another. So she's definitely, it, it feels as though that she was put here from heaven to be one of your earthly guides. Now, I don't know if people know that, but you can have earthly guides here. And to, to help you, because especially if life is rough or you've been, you know, there's been, I, I do see some difficulty. I don't want to go into it on the air, but, but that's what she's here to show the love, to bring you back to the love of yourself and, and to show you that love. Um, guides, I still see that there is an Asian thing. And I want to say, I feel like it's an, I mean, I can't prove this. That's why I usually don't like doing these. I like proving with the evidence, but there's an Asian woman. She brings to me, uh, it looks like, um, what do you call it? Um, with the paper thing, the paper, the paper. The stuff. fans? The fans or? Um, she's making things out of paper, like animals, origami. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. And she and she's uh, also an artist, but she comes to you because you have a lot of internal anxiety. And um, it, a lot of it has to do with you kind of generate it yourself. You're, on, you're like your little, you got a little motor, like an anxiety motor going. <laughs> she comes to, you need to take my class. <laughs> it, really it. it would really help. Uh, but she comes to you in peace to bring you uh, sanctuary and to draw peace upon you. Um, you also have uh, quite a bit of angels around you. Um, as well as Raphael, and you also are a natural healer, but because you don't believe anything and because you need to kind of own who you are more, that doesn't really, ha- it really hasn't developed as, as so much, but you have a natural empathic nature toward people. Do you understand that you, you're sensitive to people? Sometimes too much. You take in stray dogs, and I don't mean dogs. You're too kind. <laughs> Yeah. So she's here to give you the peace. Um, so who is around you now? There is a woman that helped uh, that, that uh, I feel was around you when you was a, were a child. And I'm trying to decide if whether she was actually living when she was around you as a child. Um, let me see. Who, why is she giving me the name Rachel Ray? Who is who is who is the who's a Rachel in your family? Or Ray, Rachel Ray, Ray, Rachel Ray. Why is she saying that? Unless she looks like her. Yeah, I'm not sure. No, she's saying you used to look like her. Um, oh. She feels like it's your mom's. It feels like it's your mom's. Um, it might be your mom's grandmother. Um, and she uh, she had, uh, what was the problem she saw me? She had some kind of disability toward the end. She needed help getting around. Uh, and my grandmother walking, um, walking. Yeah. So I don't know if it's yeah. your, so maybe it is your grandmother, your mom's home. I don't know, but she's having, she needed help moving and assistance and walking. She had a little bit of disability at the end and especially going to doctor's appointment. And she, she loved getting her hair colored too. She didn't like her. She liked her hair color, but at the end it just didn't work. Do, do you understand who this might be? <sighs> It's sounding like a couple. Um, okay, they're blending. I've lost a okay. few females on my mother's side the past few years. Okay, so there's okay. So let's stick to the woman that's difficult to getting up, and that and, and her knees, inflammation, and her feet they're very swollen. And oh my goodness, good. Shirley, yes. my grandmother. Yeah, Shirley. She, okay, and she liked to get her hair fixed at the end. She couldn't, um, and she just felt really bad that she would just had a lot of I don't know severe arthritis. Was that what was going to severe inflammation? Yes. Her legs and feet. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she just, she really adores you. She says, you're magical. You've always been magical. Uh, she said, you don't need to look outside for magic because it's within you. She said that you are, you're bright and you're beautiful and you don't need anyone to tell you any differently. And she says, and if they do, they'll have to listen to me. And she's trying to be tough, but she's really not tough. And she's winking. And she's winking at you. And she said that you need to let those bad memories, and she's showing me men, okay, um, uh, that didn't work out so good. They weren't very nice people, okay? Uh, they, they'll just say it. They weren't nice people. You found out. You didn't know. You know, look, you, you, you were a loving person. They weren't, you know. You can't be mad at yourself about that. But she's saying you need to let it go because it's something you replay in your mind, and it's stopping you. And she's saying let it go. She said, let, she said, take out the trash. She said, cause spring is around the corner. So you would be single, correct? Pardon? Are you, are you single? Yes. Okay. So this is, thank God. <laughs> I just want to verify that because she's saying spring is around the corner. So I think what she's saying, let that go, whatever you need to do to get rid of the baggage. Seriously. I'm not just saying that my classes that you, you need, that would help with that. If you need additional counseling or whatever, but what you need to work, you need to work at it, get rid of that. So come spring, you can be lighter. I mean, it's like we're carrying away, carrying around luggage. She wants you to be lighter for spring. Cause I feel like someone is, someone is, is coming around and I feel like they're also um, they have that piece about them that you need, but they're also um, creative. I feel like I want to say I have a guitar. I want to say I have a guitar and uh, they're not exactly who you thought that they would be, but she said, good. Cause she's bringing them to you. Um, wow. Yeah. And he seems a little bit more laid back and less, I want to say glamorous. He said, I mean, I get, she said, he's still nice looking, but it's just not what you expected. 
And she said, that's okay. So I don't know if you like them like all like a certain like stylized and all this. You like your men stylized, but this guy is just a dude, you know, but he's sincere and he's honest and he's true blue and he's not bad looking. It's just not what you'd normally go for. She says, she's, she's, she's uh, setting you up. This is your grandmother. She said, cause she wants you to be happy. So you have to open your heart. So just know that she loves you and she's with you. And actually you will know it's him because your daughter will like him a lot. Ooh, okay. Because mm-hmm. she's a really good judge of character. <laughs> she is. Yeah, yeah. She And she <laughs> seems like a, a wonderful person, and so are you. So so much love, and know that you, you have uh, a lot of people on the other side, especially your grandmother in your court, and you're never alone. But we have to work at ourselves. It's not easy. You're not the only one. You're on planet Earth. We no, it, it's time. Yeah, we all have to work at it. So, uh, but good things are coming. I, I, I just wanted to say one thing that you touched on was really crazy. Um, when you said the guitar, um, it's funny that she would bring that up because I've always gone for the musician type guys, you know, the long um, hair, the tattoos, the band members, the bad always boy. Good with those type. Of yeah. Well, he's and, not a bad um, boy, <laughs> but he is musical. <laughs> yeah. That's I fantastic. know. We're, I married a drummer, so I understand this. So, uh, but yeah, so because here, if you're creative, you need to be with someone else creative. So, but it's just not the type, but he he does fit everything. She says, so just be- Well, honest. I'm a singer and I love to sing. So that makes perfect uh-huh. sense. And he's that tall. We do that you like him tall. He's really tall. Kind of lurchy <laughs> tall. Kind of lurchy tall. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not great. Yeah, your grandmother knows all this stuff. She knows what's going on. So, so thank her later on. So it, it it seems very sweet. It seems like a very sweet presence when you two get together. It's a very it's different than before. It's so you need to honor your soul and thank God and thank her and just you know um, keep the past in the past because all we have is right now. Boom, and then it's gone. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right, Sheena. Thank, thank you thank very you so much. much. God bless you. Thank you. Sheena. Thank you, Sheena. You as well, Tamara. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. All right. Well, I really appreciate you doing this for us. And um, once again, uh, tell us your website and uh, how to find out more about you for your full readings and uh, for your classes. Absolutely. Well, uh, you can go to um, southernbellmedium.com to find out more about me. If you want an hour reading, I will give you an extra 30 minutes. You can use it for a live path, soul discovery reading. It's very detailed. Or you can take that 30 minutes and you can re-gift it. You can give it to someone for Christmas. It's totally okay. Just use Jeff's podcast when you fill out in the PayPal and there's like a little comment box. And I'll know, okay, you're going to get the $225 30 minutes for free. So that's a good deal. And then I'll also be offering a class starting December 15th through January 19th called Reco- uh, Recover Your Joy, where we'll be doing spiritual exercises so you can get rid of any uh, mis emotion, feeling sad, lost, whatever, and moving forward doing spiritual exercises and coming up with a plan. So when you're done, you're completely on track. You're very happy. You have a lot of um, clarity. And the other thing I want to mention is. Um, you did a near-death experience interview with me. It's also on my YouTube channel, which is Seeking Heaven, the near-death experience, another phenomena. And I'll be doing um, teaching and talking about mediumship and also spiritual exercises on there. So, and I'll refer people, you know, back to you because I think what you're doing is uh, really complimentary and also really helpful for people to see, you know, p- hear people's stories and then learn. I mean, that's how we learn. So thank yeah. you so much. I was going to say, I'll, I'll put the link to your YouTube channel and my channel for people who are yes who are not and I'll do the same thing with yours so they can see that yeah great all right Tamara I really appreciate you coming on and doing this for this for us um, I think people are going to find this interesting and have a lot of fun with this yeah absolutely and we can do this again we're you know this is mm-hmm. kind of a test to see mm-hmm. who shows up and and I thought it was a lot of fun and maybe we can uh, we can do this again and get a healing message of the you know, holidays from heaven. This is messages from the other side. So uh, thank you for letting me give the messages and showing my abilities and my after effects of mm-hmm. my NDE mm-hmm. and how this can be healing. So thank you, Jeff. And continue what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Thank you. All right, Tamara, will you have a pleasant evening? You too. Mm-hmm.
Take care. Bye-bye.